I'm Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Jay Haran at Extreme Couture. And Jay, recently you uh, picked up some victories in the Bellator tournament. How are you feeling about that win and, and in overall the experience of working with Bellator here? I feel great. You know, yeah. it, was a, it was a grind. It was a tournament. But um, I felt at this point in my career that's what I needed just to get back in on the map and as many fights as possible in a short amount of time just to get my name back out there. Mm -hmm. That's what I did and everything worked out, worked out well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting with you. I feel like there have been so many times you didn't get fights that you wanted that maybe a tournament format is kind of perfect for you because you win, you get that JD fight next, right? I mean, you know, with the tournament <laughs> format, there's no politics, there's no uh, no guys protected. You you know, you win, you go in, you win, you do your job, you move forward no matter what. So, like I said, at this at that point in my career, I felt I had a year layoff. You know, I had problems with uh, the title shot that I was supposed to get. I was guaranteed it didn't happen. So, you know, I said the quickest road for me to go for a title shot, because that's why I do this. I want to be the best I could possibly be. I want to be a champion. Was the tournament and. You know, everything worked out well. Mm -hmm. And we should back up a little bit. That title shot that you didn't get, you're talking about strike force with Nick Diaz, yeah. right? So what had happened with that? Because I know you were scheduled to fight him, and then was he didn't pass his drug test. Is that what happened? Well, that's what happened first. He right. didn't pass the drug test first. So they put another opponent in me on uh, five days' notice. Mm -hmm. Cool. I did my job. I won the fight. They, we were scheduled to fight again. It didn't happen for some reason. I fought Joe Riggs. Yeah. And then I was like, you know, what's up with the title shot? I wanted it right and I wanted it in my contract. I did everything possible to get there. I was offered the title shot the day I signed with Strike Force. Mm -hmm. for, for whatever reason, it didn't happen. It was my time to move on from there. So that's what I did. And I was weighing the options. Bellator came and they, you know, the tournament format, mm -hmm. win the tournament, guaranteed title shot. It's a lot of fights in a short period of time, which. You know, I was inactive for a year, so I said, you know, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's interesting. We we talked when we were at the MMA Awards last December, and I, I kind of joked that you've been very active at our house because when we play <laughs> EA MMA, yeah, Jay yeah. Haran gets a lot of business. But but how frustrating was that for you to have such a long layoff and know that you're still at an age where you can be in your prime and you're just not getting those fights? Very frustrating. I mean, you know, it's... It's, it's a situation that was out of my control, you know. I wasn't fighting because I was injured or anything in my control. It was, you know, I got caught up in the politics and everything else in the, in the fight game that's shady. So I just had to weather the storm. I do what I do best. I come to the gym, I train, I sweat, I, I release the stress. Thank God, you know, that I have a way to release my stress because I go crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, I come, I go to the gym and... um. You know, I'm a positive guy. I think everything will turn out for the best, and, you know, it did. Mm -hmm. And with your victory over Rick Hahn, that was split decision, right? Yeah. Um, but then some people are love to, love to throw the controversial yeah. thing around. You get a lot of, you get a lot of, Jay Ron wins in a controversial yeah. style and stuff. How do you take that? My whole that? career is controversial. That's what I'm saying. How do you, that should be In and out of the cage. The that's controversy. my new nickname. Jay, controversial Jay Ron. Ron. But, um... <laughs> I mean, people see the fight a different way. I yeah. thought I, I thought I won the fight unanimous, the hands down. You know, you could see me right after the third round. I, I knew I won the fight. Right. You know, if you're a real um, um, fight enthusiast and you know about fighting and you understand it, you will know that I won the fight hands down. I'm not even worried about that. I don't care what people think. There's always going to be somebody that is a hater or mm -hmm. doesn't like how I my style of fight and that's okay not everybody has to be my fan as long as you watch me you want me to win or lose that's fine with me you know you make the ratings go up cool mm -hmm. so I mean you know I, I know how to deal with that I've been a professional a long time and it's all right. I do what I do. Again, I come to the gym. I try to get my skills better. And through the tournament, I've seen a lot of stuff that I did better. On the year layoff, you know, you could do two things when you have a layoff. You could get better or get worse. Right. And I chose to get my skills better. And I've done, I've done a lot of things in the tournament that I've worked the past year. Mm -hmm that I had that chance to go back and push that reset button and, you know, get my skills up. Specifically what? I mean, wrestling and stuff? Footwork, everything. You know, I'm a guy that, you know, when I go out to fight, I like to be well-rounded. Mm -hmm. So I don't just train one-dimensional. I train everything. Yeah. So um, I worked a lot of my footwork, my boxing, my kickboxing, my wrestling. I mean, everything. Mm -hmm. So um, it showed in the tournament. You know, I did a lot of things that uh, I've been working on and, 
you know, that adds to my game, and, and I would definitely feel confident. Mm -hmm. And sorry, no, and this next fight, you know, uh, the last the few fights in the tournament, I fought injured. Mm -hmm. This next fight, I'm going to be 100% healthy, so people haven't even seen, you know, the best of me yet. Nice. Well, we should say the next fight is for the title against Ben yeah. Askren, and that's supposed to be... Yes. <laughs> There it is. You can't take it from me now. <laughs> I mean, really. Please, no mergers, no nothing in between now and September, no, right? We need, this, we need this to happen. So uh, what do you make of him and his his uh, performance so far in Bellator, and, and how challenging is that uh, going to be for you in that fight? Um, I mean, every fight's a challenge. Yeah. I don't look past anybody. The guy, you know, he's pretty much one-dimensional. He has wrestling. He's great at what he does with wrestling. You know, he's real awkward. And, um, you know, he has a different style. So I got to, you know, definitely train for that type of style. But at the end of the day, I feel I'm ready for, you know, whoever's in front of me. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. I'm I'm at this point in my career where I feel I match up good with anybody. And, um, you know, I just got that much confident going through that tournament last because I fought on half ability, you know, that I know I could get out there and show. So I just can't wait, you know. And then, like I said, I'm going to be 100% healthy. It's no, you know, fighting hurt. And then, you know, four weeks later, you got to go in already hurt. So, I mean, I'm going in, you know, clean slate. I'm going in totally 100% healthy, and I can't wait. Very nice. And you definitely have uh, reach advantage on him, height advantage. Um, I think I got a lot of advantage. <laughs> I think you got a lot of advantage. That's the right answer. I mean, he's a, he's a great wrestler. Yeah. But yeah. people don't, you know, they forget I'm a great wrestler, sure. too. That's my background is wrestling. Right. So. A matchup, well, I think it's a great matchup for me. Mm -hmm. Well, we continue to wish you the best of luck. We, you know, you know, I always like watching your fight and everything, and, and you sure. definitely, you do. I mean, I know a lot of guys. I come to fight, I come to this, but you, you, I mean, you show up on fight yeah, day, I mean, you know, which is which is great. So, I'm I ready, it. man. Every fight I go into, I'm, uh, I'll be ready. You know, I train 100 yeah. percent and. I'll be ready. Definitely. Well, good luck to you against Ben. Thank you. Fighting for the title for Bellator, and uh, I know we'll be seeing you here in the gym. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Jay Harani, watching MMA Heat, and that's my blood all over that canvas.